Rock Show, uh, we have an Irish housewife and a man with an interesting occupation for you now, and they're coming in right now, I believe. Mrs. Abby Donovan and Mr. Ward Kimball, would you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Well, welcome. Welcome for the DeSoto Plymouth dealers. Say the secret word and you'll divide $100. It's a common word, uh, something you see every day. Mrs. Uh, Abby Donovan, you're the Irish housewife, eh? That's right, Groucho. Uh, which part of Brooklyn are you from? Uh? Well, I'm from County Cork, Ireland. From County Cork, huh? Eh? Well, I haven't pulled one of those out of a bottle in a long time. <laughs> How long since you left the old sod? Well, it's about uh, 30 years. 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, how old were you when you left? Ooh. I was a little girl, Groucho. One <laughs> of the old Irish blonde, yeah. <laughs> I've got a little Irish in me myself, you know. Huh? I had an Irish stew for lunch today. <laughs> Let's see, who, who are you again? Uh, um, no, uh, what is your name? Uh, uh, Ward Kimball. Ward Kimball. Uh, where, where are you from, uh, Ward? Originally from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh -huh. <laughs> Somebody out there from Jacksonville, huh? <laughs> Why did you leave Minneapolis? Well, it got too cold for us, so we came to California. Well, I came to California because it got too hot for me. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you work for, Ward? Walt Disney. You work for Disney? Oh, I thought your face was familiar. <laughs> Are you the duck or the mouse? No, I'm a, an animator and director out there. Oh, a director? Oh, you'll direct. keep my mouth shut. I may want a job out there. If you ever need a rat, why, give me a ring. <laughs> Do you have any uh, hobbies, Mr. Kimball? Uh, what does a cartoonist do in his spare time? Well, one of my hobbies, Groucho, is trains. Trains, huh? Well, electric or a wind-up? Uh... <laughs> no, I have... Three full-size Baldwin locomotives and four big coaches. In the house? In my backyard. You must have a pretty big backyard, huh? Well, not too big. It's about three acres. Well, you say you have uh, steam engines out there or diesel engines? No, don't say diesel. Uh, steam engines? Steam, yes. Well, can you go to Chicago? <laughs> no, uh, my railroad uh, is only 650 feet long. Well, what's the idea of having a full-size railroad that won't go to Chicago? I don't understand that. Well, I, I tell you, um, this railroad has a roundhouse, and it has a water tank and depot, few hand cars, and... Uh, yeah. Wealthy. You said hen, that's the sacred word, so you get fifty dollars. And uh, the little Thank lady gets fifty dollars. Donald Duck. Yes, that's uh, a replica. <laughs> well, uh, tell us about the, your railroad uh, award. How did you happen to buy this stuff? Well, I heard that one of the railroads was selling one of its uh, second hand passenger coaches, which was forty feet long, for fifty bucks. And uh, so I bought it. You see, I can't resist a bargain. Wouldn't it be cheaper to just uh, go on the train and go to Chicago than have all this stuff in the backyard? Well, um... How much money have you got tied up in this uh, folly out there in the backyard, huh? Well, I paid $400 for the big locomotive. That's 40 feet long, and I paid... You know what? You can go to Chicago and the Santa Fe for about $70. <laughs> <laughs> it's the second biggest city in the United States. And they've got a magnificent shorefront there with the lake there, and there are yachts there, and there's all kinds of uh, cultural advantages in Chicago. There's the Field Museum. There's the wonderful department store. I think you're very foolish to keep riding around that backyard. You don't meet anybody, do you? Well, a few, about 50 kids usually when we steam up. Well, do you know how many children there are in Chicago? <laughs> Seven hundred thousand children in Chicago. <laughs> well, what else did you have in your backyard? You have a few old lighthouses out there in case it rains. No, I have a big collection of fire engines. Uh -huh. And uh, in fact, I have. What would you think of going to Chicago in a fire engine? <laughs> I went to San Diego once. In, in the fire engine. Now, didn't you like that better in the backyard? I thought it was wonderful. They have a wonderful zoo down there in San Diego. You can see a lot of things if you get out of the back of the house. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for excitement in the? Now you have a full-size railroad. 
I play the trombone. I was only trying to be funny. <laughs> Don't pay attention to me. Do you play in a band, or do you play for the amusement of the neighbors? Well, well I... I assume by this time a fairly decided opinions about you. <laughs> How early do you run these trains in the backyard? Once a month. Well, now, uh, you say you're a trombone player? Yes. You, you play it on the train, or... Uh... No, I play with a jazz band. I'm the leader and first trombonist of the Firehouse Five Plus Two. That's a very famous musical outfit, isn't it? Why do you call it the Firehouse Five Plus Two? I never did understand that. Because yeah. there's seven of us. <laughs> You know, and everybody thought the Marx Brothers were crazy. <laughs> well, I'd like to pursue this conversation. <laughs> the time has come to, to make some money. In the race for the $1,500, the Lumberjack and his partner are leading with $155. Now, uh, let's see how much money you can make. You selected a movie quiz. And remember, the more the question is worth, the harder it is. All you have to do is beat our other couples, and you'll get a chance at the big money. And you can quit any time you want, or if you think you have more than the other couple. How about now? <laughs> you can even quit now if you want. Oh, you Oh, don't forget, you have a starting with a bankroll of a hundred dollars. I'll stay. That's your nest egg. <laughs> All right. Now, what question do you want? A ten-dollar one, sixty, eighty, hundred? Take your choice. Well, I think we'll start about halfway. Fifty halfway. bucks. All right. Olivia de Havilland has an equally famous sister. What is her name? Um, Talk it over. None of your partners. Well, let's see. Um, maybe um, well, I know it. She's a... Merc. Yeah. Well, it's Joan Fontaine. Oh, yeah. And if you just got out of that backyard once in a while... <laughs> can't pick up things like Joan Fontaine riding around a fake engine in a backyard. <laughs> Right. Now what do you want to go for? You lost half your bank, well, you now have fifty dollars. Boy, my kids are gonna sure laugh at me. I hope they laugh at me. <laughs> they don't, I'm in a fine fix. Forty bucks. Forty dollars. Who played the monster in Frankenstein? Boris Carlo. That's right, Boris Carlo. <laughs> you now have ninety dollars. You now have ninety dollars. And what do you wish to try? We'll take a crack at that 61. You take a crack at the 61? Yeah. It is very nice. Uh, Walter Disney. Oh, you dirty crook. <laughs> That's all right. I, I won't know the answer. <laughs> Walt Disney made a feature feature length cartoon that included such characters as Jiminy Cricket, Figaro, and Stromboli. Figaro! What was the name of this picture? That's so easy, I hate to mention it. Pinocchio. Uh, Pinocchio is right. <laughs> $150. You have $150. Do you wish to continue or do you wish to cease? Let's try that uh, $70. Mm -hmm. 70 70 yeah. Blake Lancaster made a picture that was filmed in the Fiji Islands. What is the name of it? Talk it over. Crimson Park. Crimson Park. No, His Majesty O'Keefe. And you wind up with $75. What do you mean? Is that the last one? Yes. Well, land sakes. Well, thanks and good luck from the South Limit deal. And that means that the lumberjack and his partner with $155 God, in just one minute get the chance of the DeSoto Plymouth $1,500 question. 